There are many different inequalities in the world, but this video is just going to address mathematical inequalities, or more specifically, inequalities on a number line. Inequalities on a number line. First of all, what are inequalities? Inequalities in maths are those cute little arrow signs. What am I talking about? For example, we might have 8 is greater than 7. How might you remember that which symbol means greater than and which symbol means less than? One way to think of it is the open door, if you see the open door on the left, is always better and bigger than the closed door. 7 has its door closed, 8 has its door open, and the door open will always be bigger than the door closed. 8 is greater than 7. How about less than? Well, 6 is less than 7. 6 is less than 7. 6 has its door closed over here. 7 has its door open over here. So 6 is less than 7. There are two more symbols with inequalities that are useful to remember. What happens if I say to you, could you buy me at least five apples? I do actually love apples. But I probably wouldn't want you to buy five, but let's just take the example. Could you buy me at least five apples? Let's say X is the number of apples that I want. That needs to be bigger than five, so I'm happy if you get me six or seven, because I said at least five, but I'm also happy with five. Whereas 8 is completely bigger than 7 and has to be bigger than 7, x, how many apples I want, can also be 5. The way we say that is x is greater than or equal to 5, with a little line underneath, like so. You can almost see the little equals if you look closely. There's, let's do it in a different colour. So we would have the line underneath and the line underneath next to it. It's almost like a little equals. So x is greater than or equal to 5. How about a different situation? y is the number of people that can fit in a car. And I tell you, for this car, let's call it an Audi, y is no more than 5. As in, you can fit no more than 5 people in. That could technically, you could fit zero people in, one person in. And because I said no more than five, you can also fit five people in. So y would be less than or equal to five with a little line un underneath. No more than five could include five. So y is less than or equal to five. And those are the different symbols you need to know. How would we draw them on a number line? First, we need to draw our little number line. So let's go all the way from minus 8 to 8, minus 8, minus 7, minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, oh my goodness, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's insane how quickly I did that. Um, 6, 7, 8. 6, 7, okay, can't fit any more on. And let's draw the line. There we are. Okie doke. Before we go for our first number line trial, I want to introduce you to perhaps one of the hardest type of inequalities. And that's where you have more than one inequality represented in the same expression. What am I talking about? How about if, if I said minus 3 is less than x which is less than or equal to 2. So less than or equal to 2. What different numbers are satisfied by that? Well, minus 3 has its door closed, so minus 3 is less than x. Another way of saying that is x is bigger than minus 3. So let's list some of the numbers. That would be minus 2 is bigger than minus 3, minus 1 is bigger, 0 is bigger, 1 is bigger, and 2 is bigger. 
you might say how can we include 2 because it said x is less than 2 well it actually said x is less than or equal to 2 so 2 can be included minus 3 could not be included because it didn't say minus 3 is less than or equal to x it just said minus 3 is less than x so these are the five integers which are which satisfy that inequality an integer is a whole number let's just write that down here it's useful to know integer equals whole number so that's a 1 a 2 a 3 not a 2.5 or a 2.8 and satisfy the inequality is just a fancy word for saying allowed by the inequality how would we draw some of these on this number line let's try x is greater than 5 well x is greater than or equal to 5 I should say the way we draw that is we draw the a circle on 5 if it's equal to as well we draw a filled in circle that just shows that 5 is allowed as well and greater than 5 that means like 6, 7, 8 so we draw the arrow going this way it's a good tip to kind of test in your head which numbers are allowed and see if your line allows those numbers so x is greater than or equal to 5 it's a filled in circle and it's going this way because 6 is allowed, 7 is allowed, 8 is allowed etc how about the inequality given before minus 3 is less than x which is less than or equal to 2 well the 2 is definitely going to be a filled in circle so we can draw that here let's fill it in with the same color but the minus 3 is not going to be filled in because it's just less than so what we drew what we draw is an empty circle at minus 3 we're going to draw an empty circle now here's a brain teaser am I allowing the numbers in between these two circles or the numbers on the outside say the numbers going this way and this way well the numbers allowed by this inequality are actually the numbers in between minus 3 and 2 including 2 because it's equal to so actually the line would go in between minus 3 and 2 let's do one last one how about if we had the inequality let's uh, get some more space here if we had the inequality two separate inequalities linked together on the same graph on the same um, number line I should say this is the x number line how about if we had the inequality x is greater than 1 and x is less than or equal to minus 5 I think you're beginning to get the hang of it so let's just have a go at this last one less than or equal to so it's got the little line underneath <clears throat> let's do x is greater than 1 first of all it's going to be an empty circle because it's just greater than not greater than or equal to that shows that 1 is not allowed that's why the circle is empty with the minus 5 though minus 5 is allowed because it said less than or equal to so we draw a filled in circle at minus 5 this time is it the integers in between minus 5 and 1 that's allowed or the ones on the outside well if x is greater than 1 that's like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 forever so we draw a line going in the direction of those numbers so here we go and also x is less than or equal to minus 5 is minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9 going off to infinity so we draw a line going in that direction and there we have our inequality drawn on a number line I hope that's given you a glimpse of inequalities and their power in mathematics